welcome back everyone so today in this video i will be showing you how to fix high ram memory usage on windows 10 or 11 in just five minutes so without wasting any time let's quickly get started so first right click on the windows icon then click on task manager and here in the task manager you need to find out the application that is occupying the maximum memory usage so what you can do here you can click on the memory section and then it will display all the application that is occupying the maximum memory usage. Now on my end you can see Power Toys, Microsoft Edge, even I am not using it, they are still running in the background and occupying a lot of memory usage. Alright, so what I can do here, I can right click on it, click on end task. I will also right click on Microsoft Edge, end task. Then you can find the anti-malware service executable that is a part of the Windows Defender. So we cannot disable it, but if you want to disable, then let me know in the comment section. So once you are done from here, then you have to click on the startup app from the left hand side. And from here also, you need to disable the Microsoft Edge and other third party application that you don't want that it should come along with a computer. All right. So once you are done, now you can close it. Next, you need to click on your Windows search type registry. Click on registry editor. Click on yes. And here from the left hand menu option, double click on HQ local machine, then system, then control set 001, then services. And in the services, you have to look for NDU. So you can press the N key and then somewhere you will find NDU. Once you get it, click on it on the right hand side, you will find the start option. Double click on the start and change its value data from 2 to 4. Click on OK. Now again, go back from the left hand side. And instead of services, you have to click on control. And in the control, you have to look for session manager. So press the S key so that you can come to the S section. Double click on session manager. Then you have to look for memory management. Once you click on memory management on the right hand side, you have to make some changes like click on clear page file at shutdown and change the value data from 0 to 1. Click on OK. Then you have to look for non-paged pool size, double click on it and you can change its value data to 192. In case if it doesn't work, then you can come back again and change it to 0 again. Click on OK. Now you can close it. Next click on your Windows search, type sysdm.cpl, hit the enter key. And here we will be basically disabling all the unwanted animation. So click on advanced, under the performance click on settings. And it should be selected to let Windows choose that enable all kind of animation. Select the third option, adjust for best performance. And then we only need to enable few of them like animate windows when minimizing and maximizing, show thumbnail and a smooth edges of a screen font. Click on apply. Click on OK. And then you can close it. Now next we also disable a few services. So click on your Windows search, type services. Hit the enter key. And now here in the services, you have to disable many kind of unwanted services that you are not using. I have already created a video. You can check that video that what all services you can go ahead and disable them. Like in the B section, you will find the background intelligence transfer service. You need to double click on it. The, from the startup type, you have to choose it to disable. Stop the service. Click on apply. Click on OK. Same you have to do with the background task infrastructure and the base filtering engine. And then it depends on you that if you're not using the BitLocker or the Bluetooth, whichever you are not using, again, you can make a double click on it and you can disable them. You also need to look for another service by the name SysMain. Double click on it. And it helps in basically maintaining and improving the system performance over the time. But majority of the time it's been seen that it occupy a lot of resources, slow down the computer performance. So again, you can click on the startup type, click on disable, click on stop, click on apply and click on OK. And for the more performance, you can also disable the Windows search that basically uh, slow down the performance. So look for Windows search and you can try disabling this as well. All right. So once you are done from here, now finally, again, bring up your browser and then you have to look for the memory duct and you will come to this kind of website and here you have to click on download for Windows. And it will be quickly downloaded. Click on the downloaded file. Click on yes. Just go with the basic installation. And this kind of dashboard will be up and it is a very effective tool. Let me quickly show you. If I bring up the task manager, go to the performance. 
So as of now, you can see that my memory and the CPU usage both are very high. The memory is around 90%. Now if you have the similar problem, like if your RAM usage is going very high, then bring up this memory duct and simply click on clean memory. And notice the moment I will click on it, you will find a great drop in the memory consumption. And now you can see from 90, it has been reduced to 65, 60 and it came to around 50% and it's reducing. So the 50% means from 90 to 48% is a huge difference now. Alright, so these are the best optimization and steps that you can apply in order to get rid of the high RAM and the memory usage problem. So that's all guys for today. Hopefully you found this information useful. If yes, do not forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.